Hey you guys, welcome back to part three of a reality of a stay-at-home mom. Stay right here. The dreamer, what you dreaming about? The dreamer, trying to find a way. So I wanted to get, uh, Jelani, don't touch it. I wanted to get a quick video in about my typical day as a stay-at-home mom. And it didn't really go as quite, quite as planned. Sorry. Hey. Say hey. She got some little bit here. Okay. It didn't really go quite as planned because, uh, well, I record all of my videos on my cell phone. So I really wanted to just literally give you a walkthrough of when I wake up in the morning to when we go to bed at night but I can't do that video right now um I promise to do an updated video soon so this one is basically gonna give you guys the rundown of the routine that I've come up with for our scheduling every day and literally since I've come up with a schedule we've been thriving like the house is just flowing so nicely. <laughs> the house has been flowing very nicely. Um, everyone is getting things done. I, it's easier for me. I have not been so stressed out. Um, and the reason, I want to say this too, the reason why I wanted to come up with a good scheduling routine is because I kind of just felt like the house was kind of chaotic and there's a lot of us um, and all different age groups so a lot is going on right now starting school we got the uh, freshman in high school the kindergartner and the newborn so it's a lot going on and with me trying to make money online I have to push myself to do that because I don't have a set time where I have to be at work. So I just kind of wanted things to flow a little bit better. I don't want it to be a time during the day where people don't know what they should be doing or um, or we're just kind of having a free day every day. Like that that wasn't working for me. So the way the way that I came up with the routine was a lot of research online for whatever reason i don't know why it was so hard for me to come up with a good schedule but i needed to do a lot of research online so i started there and i kind of just i take bits and pieces from everything and then put it into what would work best for me so i do recommend that all stay-at-home moms especially if you're working from home put yourself on a schedule I'm recording right now, honey. Can you chill? <laughs> Put yourself on a schedule because your family will thrive from the schedule. Like it really works wonders for kids. It helps to build independence and responsibility. They learn about responsibility. It's just overall been a great thing for everyone in the household. So <clears throat> I have here our daily routine and i'm gonna go through it with you guys but i do want to say some helpful tips when you're creating your own schedule let's say you're building a house and your bricks are gonna be the things that you cannot change like the times that you cannot change um for example um the time i have to take my son to school or the time that i have to wake up my sister for school or the time that he gets off the bus or the time that everyone is home and the time that I want everyone in bed. So I know the bedtime, the bedtime is a little bit easier to choose when you um, know what time you're getting up in the morning. So it's really good that kids are getting at least 10 hours of sleep. Um, my son definitely gets his 10. He does not mind sleeping in. But I wanted to also make sure my sister got 10 hours of sleep. And she is the one that has to get up first thing in the morning. So those were the bricks. And then my cement was 
my miniature list in between. So I would make miniature lists like, okay, these are the things I want to do every day. And these are the things that I need to do every day. So I would find ways to fit those in. And some examples of that is like, what I wanted to do every day was I wanted to have a certain time a day where I can be able to read every day. I want to practice my meditation every day. And I think I put working out every day. Well, not every day, but this is mostly a Monday through Friday routine, I would say. But um, those are some of the things that I really wanted to incorporate every day. But those are my wants. So my needs, what I need to do every day is make money online. Um, that was something. And I need to sew every day. I'm really trying to build my craft and work on my skill. Um, and another thing I think I put on there was read to the kids every day. I want to make sure that there's a designated time we set aside for them to read. So I came up with this little schedule that I'm excited about because I literally did a first draft and for that for that week of us using it, it went by so nicely and so smooth. I had a talk with uh, my sister and kind of told her what to expect and it just went by so smooth. I made a little a, a couple of adjustments here and there and now this is like really did you really just put the phone in that's not nice that's not nice hey hi hi <laughs> sorry that's why i'm kind of talking so fast because she's busy she's this is usually her nap time but for some reason i don't know what happened but yeah so anyway where were we yeah, so this uh, second draft to the scheduling has been working very nicely. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys what our typical day looks like. So, like I said, I started with 5.50 a.m. 5.50 a.m. Um, that's the time that my sister wants to be up that that time gives her enough time to get ready to get out of the door and get on the bus so okay i wake her up at 5 50. the sun literally comes up like a little before seven o'clock so i get up i will go back and lay down with the kids the kids are still both asleep and then i'll get up at seven and sometimes lonnie is still asleep um all of the time Boo Bear is still asleep, but sometimes she's up, sometimes she's not. And um, when she's not up, it mostly goes the same whether she's up or not. Like I get up, I actually get myself dressed, I'll let down my hair, you know, I brush my teeth and I get myself just ready for the day that early in the morning. Uh-oh, you really wanna see yourself? Hi. And I actually find that getting up before my son does has been like so, it's been better for me mentally because when my son gets up, he's like, he goes straight in. He's like, okay, I want to eat. I want to play. I want to, I want to know what's up like right now. And I'm, if I'm just now opening my eyes at that time, it's just not a good time for me to go straight into mommy mode. Like, okay. Like, I really like that I have been able to get up at least an hour, an uh, hour and a half earlier than he does and have some time to myself. So this is my time where I get up, I freshen myself up, I'm ready for the day and I'll just make sure I get either some tea or just some like warm lemon water or something to drink and I'll sit down and read a book in front of the window. Um, I really like to to have it quiet in the morning so I chose that time for my reading time which um, was one of the things on my list of what I want to do. So I'll start off my morning doing something for me so I can kind of feel like the rest of the day will be a little bit nicer to me because I've already been nice to myself. So sometimes that's doing my hair, sometimes that's reading, sometimes that's just like relaxing. 
um or i might do my meditation then in the morning if i don't feel like reading but most of the time that is my reading time so then we have at 8 30 in between 8 and 8 30 is usually the time where james gets up on his own and if he's not up by 8 30 then i will wake him up just because you know i really want him to be in bed at a certain time at night so i don't want him to just sleep all through the morning until he has to go to school now when he first wakes up i used to have him go straight into like a little work activity for him but i found that it kind of like makes him a little more stressed so i i switched that up in my second draft and i made it so as soon as he wakes up he just gets a little bit of free time and this is the time where i make his breakfast and i make her food for the day so um i just kind of let him get his free time if he wants to get the tablet or play with toys or whatever uh watch a little show i'll let him do that and then when he's done eating that is when i'll like pull out some homework yeah so after his homework time that's when we get all of our books together that we're gonna read and we'll just go ahead and like read to lonnie some of her books read to james some of his books and then it's time to get him dressed for school and usually after that we do have um some extra time before it's time for him to go to school so this is just some either extra free time or most of the time i'm gonna like straighten up before we leave out and like make sure he cleans up everything and then he goes to school so then i have a block a working block of four hours um i have from one sorry yes from 1 p.m till 4 p.m where i am totally just focused on my work which is gonna be uh in more detail in my next video what i do to make money but yes that's my whole goal during that four hours is to find ways to make money to actually make some or to sew and do those things and that's usually lonnie's nap time too so um today obviously it's a little different but that's totally fine because i'll have some extra time later on tonight that's my blocked off work time <laughs> Um, where I can get all those things done and then at four that's usually when my son is home So now I'm giving him a little more free time while I make dinner Five o'clock. We're all home at the table. Um, we eat Lonnie eats with us um, both with Boo Bear in the morning and with us at five and then right after our eating time is when Boo Bear showers um, me and my sister me and my sis will clean the house and she'll have chores and I'll just clean up and stuff. You're going to be louder than me, huh? And then after that time is when Lonnie gets her wash up and we kind of just chill. And then I have my wind down time, which I... um. Which I kind of came up with because so much with all this like new rage for technology and stuff with the younger kids. Mm. I kind of just wanted some blocked off time where it's like, okay, no technology, no TVs on, no music playing, no tablets, no phones. And we're either going to like chill and doodle or something or we're going to read or we're going to play a board game something that we can all do in the same room we don't have to all be doing something together but we're just kind of all spending time in the same room for that last hour before bed and what i actually found um because my workout time was originally at 7 a.m and that was not happening so once i changed it to the kids wind down time my sister helps with the baby i get to work out and shower and i get that whole hour at the end of the day to myself which really just like puts me in such a good mood to go to sleep on time with them what i'm is what i mean because um i would be like i would have really bad insomnia where i'm staying up late 
and then having to get up early and that's really hard for me so going to sleep on time is very important for mom too so yes that would be my my exercise time and then that is when oh and then so then nine o'clock is our lights out time where everyone is in bed and usually she is definitely down to go to sleep at that time because she's kind of just on like one and a half naps throughout the day so one really good one and the half one is just like the fake naps you know so yeah she's down to go to sleep at that time my sister needs to she gets up early and my son is actually tired at that time too so that time became perfect for us bow, 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 bow. So what I started to do when everyone was in the bed, I would stay up for like maybe 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour. And that's my wind down time where I get to meditate and just kind of chill and just it's quiet in the house. I like my uh, oil warmer and it's just really relaxing. So the days have been going by really great with this new routine. And as soon as I get a camera, I would love to record it for you guys and show you. The best thing when making your schedule is to not to over schedule yourself. You're a mom. This is your first priority. And then everything else comes second. Especially if you have a, a little one in the house like me. You just want to be on a schedule just so you don't lose your mind. So happy mom, happy life, happy house. Everyone in the house is happy when the mom is happy. So that's your main focus. That's it for today, you guys. The goal is to have a happy mom, happy life. So create a schedule that works for you. And if it works for you, it's going to work for the whole house. Be sure to leave some comments below. I would love to give some uh, helpful tips on creating your own routine or your own schedule and stay tuned for next week i'm going to talk about all of the different ways that i make money as a stay-at-home mom so bye see you in the next video bye